Welcome students to lesson on graphing system of inequalities. All right, so we're gonna have two inequalities that we graph and we have to combine the inequalities together to see which part is actually true for both inequalities, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's just go ahead and get started. Um, graphing the first one, I start off at two, one, two. And next time I'm gonna go up one to the right two, up one to the right two. So it tells me up one to the right two. I'm gonna do it again. And then you can do it, you could just keep on doing it. I even go down and do it this way. Just so when I graph it, it just looks a little bit easier. And there you go, right there, perfect. Oh, by the way, it is a nice solid line. So I'm gonna do a solid line. All right. Now my second one would be dotted, okay? There's no equal sign. I start off at one. I'm gonna go down two to the right three. Remember if it's negative, I lose two. One, two, three, down two to the right three. And I could go up two. So therefore, you can see my graph better. Now again, it's dotted, so I'm gonna make sure it's dotted. I don't wanna mess that part up, okay? There you go, perfect. Dotted. Skip a little bit, oh, there you go. All right. Now, what I have is four parts to a graph. One, two, three, four. You could actually pick a point from each one of them. Like that point, um, that point, that point, that point. So one, so you did a four, four, four parts. One, two, three, four. And all of these, rep each point represent one part of the graph. You can actually plug in that point, like for example, this one is negative three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So negative three and eight. You can actually plug this into both of them. And if they're both true, then you shade this part. Or you plug in this one here. If they're both true, you shade this part. All right. Now there's another way, and I prefer to do it this way. I just check twice. All right. So for my first graph is this one here. This is my first graph. Okay. So I'm going to ignore this dotted line right here. So for this graph, I only have two parts. I have this side. And this side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just, just gonna focus on checking only this side only. And I could check my zero, zero. In fact, I could use my zero, zero for both of them, okay? So I'm gonna use zero, zero for this one here. So zero is less than or equal to one half times zero plus two. So that would give me zero is less than, that would give me two. So zero less than two, that is actually true. So for this graph right here, I'm gonna shade lightly. Okay, just something lightly like that, all right? Now for this one, this now I'm gonna ignore the shaded part and this line right here. I'm only gonna focus on a dotted line. This dotted line here, either, either this side is true or this side is true. So again, for this side, I'm gonna check the zero, zero again, okay? So I'm checking the zero, so zero greater than negative two over three times zero plus one. That would give me zero, that one cancel, greater than one, that is untrue. So for this dotted line right here, zero, zero is not true, so I'm gonna shade the other side. Now, then I go back and look, I go, okay, so which parts has both graph? This one over here. This one is true for this side and true for this side. So this part right over here is true for both of them. So I'm gonna go back and shade because everything here in this part is true for both graph. And that is my solution to this inequality, this graphing system of inequalities because it's, it's true for both of them. So I know that's my answer right there. All right. All right, this is number two. So again, similar, but this one has an exponential graph. All right, so put a one right here. Let's graph the first one. We start off at five, one, two, three, four, five. And it looks like our slope is negative one over one. So then maybe we go down one to the right one, down one to the right one. I put a bunch of them, so when I graph it's just easier. All right, so let's go ahead and graph that. Again, nice solid line because it's an equal sign. I'm going to do that now. All right, for this one, we actually need a table. So let's go ahead and draw a table. I'm going to use zero, one, two, and maybe I add a three also, okay? So let's go ahead and plug in a zero in there. So you get zero greater than or equal to two times to the zero power minus one. That will give you one minus one, which is zero. Okay, uh, plug in one in there. So, so I'm gonna have y. Um, oops, my bad. What am I doing here? This is our y. 
So I'll put a y, so I'll put a one in there, so greater than or equal to two to the one power minus one, two minus one, y is greater than two, one. That's one right there, so we'll plug in two. So y is greater than or equal to two to the second power minus one, y is greater than four minus one, that would give me three. Last one, plug in three in there, so y is greater than or equal to um, two to the third power minus one, y is greater than eight minus one, which is seven. All right, let's graph this one again, nice solid line because there's an equal sign, zero, zero, uh, one and one, two and then three, and three and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right over here. Now, um, my asymptote is one, obviously, because this is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller, minus one, so it's gonna be no more than negative one, okay? So when you graph, you're gonna, okay, so that's negative one right over here. I gotta make sure I don't pass that. So this one's a bit trickier. Like that, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead now again. There are four parts, one, two, three, four parts to this graph. One of them, either this one, this one, this one, this one, is true for both the equations, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to check the first one, I'm gonna ignore the um, exponential graph for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna check zero, zero for this graph right here. Okay, so check in zero, zero. So zero is less than or equal to a negative one times zero plus five. Zero is less than or equal to five. Zero is less than five, that's true. So for this graph right here, um, it's true for zero, zero. So this is true for this graph. So I'm gonna shade this side with the zero, zero. I'm gonna do it lightly. All right, now for this one, I can't check zero, zero because the graph is on zero, zero. So I'm gonna check some, you know, just as easy. I'm gonna check one, zero, okay? To see if this is true or this is true. All right, so I'm gonna check one zero for this guy. So I'm gonna check one zero, which is X and Y. So my Y is zero, greater than or equal to two to the one power, minus one, zero greater than or equal to two minus one, zero is greater than or equal to one, zero is not greater than uh, one. So this is not true. So I don't shade this side, I shade the other side, all right, lightly. And as you can see, this side right here is where it's true for both graph. So that's my answer. I did make it nice and dark. All right, that is it. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me and uh, that, have a good day.